I am Dr. Chandravati, Senior Consultant Dermatologist at Care Hospital Banjara Hills. Most of the people they ask for PRP without knowing what PRP is. What PRP is platelet rich plasma that is called PRP. That is platelets that are rich in plasma. So how do we get this? We get it when we take about 20 to 30 ml of blood from the, from the patient. We get about 2 ml of PRP. Platelet rich part of it only we will take it. So that is the platelet rich plasma. So why is it, uh, why people are asking so much about uh, this PRP? Because they contain lot of growth factors. So yes, it has so many indications for PRP, for facial re rejuvenation, for pigmentary disorders, for, for acne wrinkling, for aging face and also for hair loss or hair loss also we do this PRP. So PRP when they are doing it what are the precautions they should take? PRP should be done immediately after preparation. Do not wait for long period because the growth factors will go away. So that is why it should be done within the half an hour of extracting the PRP. That is another important point. Another thing is and when we are doing the PRP, there should be completely the skin should be sterilized and all these things PRP should be given at a different, I mean on all over the skin, all over the skin with a one centimeter to half centimeter distance, we give it all over the skin. It is under topical anesthesia. First we have to anesthetize the skin and then after that we give injections into the skin of this PRP. So this PRP contains lot of growth factors and it increases the collagen in the skin and the elastic tissue in the skin. Sometimes it also brightens the skin. So this uh, usually it should be done once a month. It is usually recommended for those people uh, for the pigmentary disorders. Most of the times we do it for the hair loss things and all that. So uh, but another important point is along with PRP we should also Whatever the doctor prescribes the creams, the regular maintenance is also equally important because PRP, we give it once a month for some time, not for lifelong. So, so the whatever the growth factors that they go into the skin, they work for some time. After that, again, it should be maintained. This is very, very important. It should be maintained by chemical peels. It should be maintained by microdermabrasion or it should be maintained by uh, MNRF. All these things should be used because when you are aging, it continues to age. The skin continues to age. So uh, PRP is one of the armamentarium of anti-aging process. Uh, for this pigmentation, for anti-aging process, it is one of the armamentarium. But the most important thing is after getting the PRP done, maintenance creams also is equally important. You should continue to maintain it. So not only this, along with these uh, creams, there should be some facial facial massages and a, a, a proper cleaning, proper usage of the moisturizers and what are the creams that are recommended by the doctor. All these things has to be continued along with the PRP. Once in a while, yes, once in one month or once in three months, once in a while, you can get these PRPs done because they, these are all quick fixes. That means directly the growth factors we are injecting into the skin. So it helps, but it will not stay for a long period. That is the most important point. So PRP is very good for the facial rejuvenation, for the pigmentation, even for the hair loss. But should be done by a qualified persons, not by quacks, not by the people who do not know much about the PRP. This is also equally important.